Question 19. The graph of a quadratic function is shown on the grid. Which statement appears to be true? So I want to see which one is correct. All right, let's take a look at each one, one by one. The function has three zeros. Okay, so what's the importance here? It's zeros. What is a zero? A zero for a quadratic function, it's another word for x-intercept. Okay, that's what a zero is. It's an x-intercept. So let's take a look here. What are the x-intercepts here? Negative one and three. Those are the zeros because they are touching the x. Okay, so what do you guys think? How many are there? There's one, two. There are two, not three. Nope, there's two, not three. So it's not A. B, the maximum value of the function is three. So I have a maximum and it's three. Okay, so let's talk about minimum and maximum real quick. So the parabola can be two shapes. It can be like this where it opens up and it can be like this where it opens down. And this right here would be a minimum because this point is down, right? That means it's a small. And this point right here is the maximum because it's up, that means it's big, right? So this one has a maximum, that would be the center right here. Okay, this is the maximum. And minimum and maximum are like height, okay? So height would be y. What's the maximum for this? So maximum is y. What's the y for this? It's four. Okay, so it's not at three, it's at four, so that is not correct. Okay, let's take a look at three. The vertex of the graph of the function is four, one. Okay, so I have vertex, four, one. Vertex is the center point, which we've already talked about, the minimum and maximum. And so, let's go ahead and write the ordered pairs for this vertex. This vertex is x, y x is 1, y is 4. So the vertex is 1, 4, and that is not correct. It's not 4, 1, it's 1, 4. They have it opposite way. Okay, and then the last one, which is probably correct, the equation of the axis of symmetry of the graph of the function is x equals 1. So axis of symmetry. So what is axis of symmetry? If you have a shape, so for example, your face, right? You have a smiley face. This is a person. Okay, if you do a line, if you put a line vertically, right, breaking the left side from your right side, the left side and the right side should be very similar to each other, okay? So that is the axis or the line of symmetry. Okay, so symmetry means two sides have the same um, on each side. So another one would be like, look at this triangle. If I do the line, the left side is the same as the right side, right? So where would I put my line to cut this in half where it would be the same on both sides? It would be right here in the vertex, right? This is the axis of symmetry. And this line, this axis of symmetry, it's touching one number. What number is it touching? It's touching right over here at 1. And this one is on which line? It's on the x, this is x1, which is exactly what we have here. So that is correct. So my answer here would be D. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, please leave a comment, uh, subscribe, like the video. Hope you have a nice day. See you next time.